Hello, good morning students. Welcome back to the new videos. Uh, this will be the last videos on the chapter that is in the uh, conservations of mass uh, conservations of plants and animals. So in the previous video lectures, in the last two video lectures, we have discussed about introductions, deforestation and causes, consequency of the deforestation, conservations of forests and wildlife. We have also discussed about the biospheres, what is biospheres and what is a biosphere reserve. Okay, so in this topic we will be discussing about the endemics and endangered species, project tigers and red dadas. Only these three topics that we are going to discuss in this video lectures. Okay, we are going to discuss this topic that is endemics and endangered species, project tigers and red dada books. So let's go into the uh, let's go into the videos. Okay, let's go into the detailed uh, discussions about the endemic species and endangered species. What is in the endemic species and endangered species? Okay, you might have seen like many plants and animals. Okay, many plants and animals, they they don't they're restricted to some place only. Okay, they're restrict, restricted to some like a particular area or particular habitat only. Okay, like if I talk about the polar bears. Okay, the polar bear cannot cannot survive in a, like at a place like even in Nagaland or even in India. Okay, it has become difficult to because of the habitus, because of the climatic conditions or any problem. And these species, okay, these species can only survive to that particular areas. Okay, so that is what I said. The endemic species, the species of the plant animal which are restricted to a particular area called endemic species. Okay, what is it? They are not found. They may not found in any bears. They may not found in any bears. If you talk about the species that found in Netherlands, okay, especially the found in the mountain districts, that cannot be seen in any uh, anywhere else, right? They will be seen in that particular place only. So these are these species are what we call as the endemic species. Okay, they are very restricted to the partic particular area only. They cannot survive in other area. They cannot survive in other habitats, okay, because of the climatic condition, because of the food, uh, food habitat, right? So this, those animals are what we call as the endemic species, okay, like sal, wild mangoes are the endemic flora of patch, patch mare, okay. Bison, Indian giant squirrels and frail squirrels are the endemic spawners of this area, okay. So these two, these three, these are you see. If we talk about the sal, okay, and the wild mangoes, okay. Are the indigenous species of the Panchmari. Okay, you can find these oh, sals and wild mangoes are only in that place it's called Panchmari. And while as bisons, Indian giant squirrel and flying squirrels are the endemic species of the animals that found in that this area, that area, so that is what we call uh, that area that is. And uh, it is a, it is a because Panchmari. Okay, so this Panchmari bio biosphere reserve. Okay, it's been introduced in India, okay, in order to protect them. Because if this punch marine squirrel, uh, there's whatever the animal found, whatever the fauna, the flora found in that places, okay, if the uh, if that ecosystem got disrupted or if that ecosystem got uh, like due to the uh, environment, like due to the development, due to some uh, human needs, if you try to cut down all the trees, that means you disrupt the ecosystems of that Panchmari Biosphere Reserve, then all those animals or all those plants and animals will sting, right? They will finish, they will diminish, they will not see anywhere. Okay, so that is why, so such types of animals need to be, such types of animals need to be preserved, such types of animals need to be conserved. Okay, so you see, endangered species, what is the endangered species? Those species whose numbers are diminishing or gradually decreasing or might get extinct soon are known as the endangered species. Like those animals are there, those plants are there, okay, which you might not see, see them anymore, okay, which you might see them, but you might see them, you might, you might have seen very rarely, okay. Many species are there, many, many plants and animals are there that we have seen during our time that we have seen when we are in the when we are small, small children, uh, small children, okay, when we are small young boys and girls, we, when we are young boys and girls, but those plants, we cannot see them now, okay, why? Because they have totally extinct, they have finished, they, have, they won't, uh, due, 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 due to the developments, okay, we have cut down all those trees, 
okay but you see we talk about the indigenous species or tall species okay which are about to be extinct okay which are about to be they are in the dangers okay they are in the danger zone they are in the critical zone okay where they may extinct anytime because of the developments of the developments of the because of developments or develop of the because of the infrastructures or anything okay so this this species or these animals or plants may extinct so those types of animals are what we call as the indigenous species like you talk about the uh, indian rhinos okay indian rhinos we talk about the uh, asthenic lions blue whales okay then day by day their populations are decreasing day by this okay and if their populations are declare decreasing day by this okay due to the environment due to the environmental changes climatic changes okay and a lot of a uh, lot of developments are taking place like so this where we disturb there where we have where we have disturbed there uh uh, living habitats okay where we have disturbed the ecosystems okay now they cannot survive in elsewhere okay where they have they cannot survive in elsewhere and that become a problem for them so that means they uh, they die right so that is why that types of species is what we call as a endangered species i think you clear about endemic and endangered species let's go to the next topic that is what we call as a project ti tigers okay so project tigers is one of the important ti uh, important um, schemes or in important program that launched by the indian government so, okay project tigers have been one of the successful operation launched by the government of india so, okay it was first launched in the first april 1973 by the government of india and the project was funded okay funded by the worldwide fund for nature under this project we have 18 tiger reserve in india we have how many tiger reserve in india we have nearly 18 tiger reserve in india the project of this the objective of project tiger was to ensure the survival of the or a maintenance of tiger population in countries okay in our country the main objective of project tiger was what in order to ensure the survival and maintenance of tigers okay we need to uh, we need to give a, a, a good habitat for the survival of the tigers okay now when you talk about the tigers or well, whatever you see there was nearly 40,000 Bengal, uh, Bengal tigers if you talk about it the, the, the India Bengal tigers okay which is mostly found in the West Bengals okay so Bengal tigers was nearly 40,000 their population was nearly 40,000 in the year 1910 but due to the development due to the climatic change okay the third decline was te taken place in the year 1827 in in Eighteen twenty seven. Okay, at eighteen hundred twenty seven. Okay, out of forty thousands, out of forty thousand in nineteen ten, in the year nineteen ten. Now there was the number decreased up to eight one thousand eight hundred twenty seven in the year nineteen seventy two. Just imagine the population counted to be forty thousand in the year nineteen zero one. Okay, but nineteen zero or nineteen ten. Okay, 1910, 1910. But after when they counted in the year 1972, the Indian, the Bengal Tigers, their population reduced to 1822. How, how, like their graph have been reduced in such a way that if we don't conserve them, a time will come there we cannot, we won't be able to see again the Bengal Tiger anymore in our India okay so in order to preserve this okay in order to preserve this this project tiger was been initiated okay why this why this declinish uh, declinations of the project uh, tigers was bengal tiger was taking place the main reasons for extensions of tigers are first hunting them next is deforestation we are disturbing due to their uh, pictures or ecosystems okay and tenants of river for the human needs only okay we are because of the human activities, we can say because of the human activities, not because of the animals for their benefits or whatever it is. It is all because of the selfishness of the human. Okay, because of our own human needs, we are disturbing. We are totally disturbing to the environment, to the ecosystem, and the uh, survival uh, habitats of the animals. Okay, so so in order in order to in order to conserve them, different project, different. A program have been initiated different operations have been initiated even uh, even in we talk about uh, Assam in Assam we have one one horn rhinos okay we have one horn rhinos the only state in India that we find one horn rhino but year by year the, the one horn rhinos are also declining okay so Indians are taking different types of initiative different types of like they are taking initiative 
to in order to produce, in order to conserve the one on rhinos because one on rhino is only the identities of indias okay that in in, in entire world you will only find the one on rhino in india that is also in assam which yeah. is a nearby states of where is a where is a nearby states of india okay uh, of nagalands okay is a uh, is our neighboring states of Na uh, neighboring states okay and we have to be very proud that a uh, one on rhino which is only found which is only happy jets okay the only happy jets uh, for the rhino, one on rhino is our own area that is our own notice okay so we have to be very proud of it but because of the like what is it because of the human activities like as i told you because of the human activities or because of our selfishness we are disturbing we are totally spoiling entire ecosystems entire ecosystems of the animals okay so we need to conserve them we need to protect them okay a time will come there like after two three generations where our sons and daughters or where our grandsons and daughters they might not be able to see them okay but they will only just hear about they will just only study about them but we won't be able to see them okay so that is very like uh, that is very sad news for all of us we need to protect we need to protect them from all those by any means okay so only the way is that we need to put our hand in any um any project any any program that's are uh, initiated by the uh, india's or government in order to protect, uh, in order to conserve the animals and uh, plants and animals even in mons also okay many many forests okay we, many forests have been taken care of by the uh, have been many program have been initiated by the indian government in order to conserve different flora and fauna found in, in the mon districts okay even like when you talk about the tobu forest areas when you talk about the uh pongong forest areas and like we have like the, uh, different areas in the desert areas and the chan areas okay many forests are there okay many indians are trying to the many uh, many forests are trying to conserve by the indian government by funding okay by funding okay so that we can conserve the uh so that we can conserve the uh flora and fauna found in, in our districts okay so we need to be very careful and we need to uh we need to we have this is our responsibility to take the initiative in order to conserve the, all those animals okay so next we have our next topic that is what we call red data box you see a red data box is a box which has a list of all the endangered plants and animals okay what is a red data box it is a record okay it is a record where all the animals and the plants Ah, we all the animals and plants are in a uh, critical money in a in the space of indigenous. That means they are about to be ends. Okay, that is what we need to be record them. Okay, whether what steps we need to provide them so that we can conserve them. Okay, the book provide a central information source in organizing studies and monitoring programs on the rare and endangered species and their habitats. Okay, they will try to provide information about the about the rare and endangered species and their habitats it is regular considered when development and implementing species measure for the protection and rehabilitation of such species okay so what is it if there is any developments or implementing any measures for the uh, we need to learn okay we need to learn the species whether they are in endangered or not whether their species may be ours or not okay based on the endangered species we need to take a different types of uh, different type of steps or different types of measures so that we can protect and rehabilitation or for such a species okay if if there is to be like if there is to be like any uh, similar environmental condition where they can suit them okay we can we can transfer those uh, those species to that place okay if uh, a prior prior development need to be uh, it's very really impor important for a human then what shall we do is that whatever the species that found in that places or that what whatever the species found in that bios uh, that area okay need to be need to be transferred by seeing their uh, habitat by seeing the food habits okay and we have to check on that whether in some places or some area whether such types of environmental such types of food habits are found or not and if it is found then we can go we can keep and we can we can we can uh, implement we can implement such a special measure to protect them okay so 
we need to consider them in any way so, so that the spaces should not be extend so that the spaces should not be finished up or diminished okay after two three years you see there are different types of red book for plants animals and other species there are some books that we have found in india so, okay i've just arranged here you see the red book that does on the part two that is butterflies of india different types of butterflies are there in india yes. okay how many butterflies have been extinct and how many butterflies are yet to be extinct okay all these are recorded in this red data box okay now here is you see uh, only the red book that does of indian indian on part one that is vertebrate vertebrate means mammal animals elves reptiles and amphibians all these are mammals in uh, vertebrates animals okay like mammals animal breast feeding animals okay elves, elves okay reptiles okay and amphibians so, so all those animals which are about to be extinct or which are in a dangerous uh, zone that are all recorded in this books okay so it is maintained it is maintained by whom international units of conservation of natural resources and this trade data books are totally the main initiatives are taken by the international unit for conservation of natural resources okay they are the one who try to record all those things okay so their branches have been everywhere in the terms of walls or even in india so even in mon or nagaland so we have different types of uh, branch where they try to study about the different types of what is that um uh food habits and habituals of the different types of animals okay and then they try to record it whether how many uh, how many uh, populations or how many numbers of these animals are present in this entire habitats okay whether they are about the extent you see it contains the most updated information on the global conservation status of of the species that means all the species okay that is presently uh, exists that that is presently uh, that are presently here in in a world that have been recorded in this entire box only okay every day and now they try to record it all the updates okay year to year day to day they put all this update different types of animal different types of plants have been put into this in this records okay so these are all the topics that we have discussed we have discussed about the different type of light we have discussed about uh bosper reserve okay in deserts and endemic species project tigers red data box okay conservations of uh conservations of bosper reserve okay so uh, we, uh what we have learned from these books is one okay conservations of plants and animals is very much important okay if the plants and animals got extinct or if the animals or plants and animals got extinct just imagine if there is no plants if there is no animals okay do you think that we humans will be able to survive no we won't be able to survive you see uh, in the ancient times even during our forefathers during our forefathers there was not such a diseases like today we are facing all the corona diseases different types of diseases are rising day by day yes or no but during those days there was no such type of diseases was church okay why it is all because of we are disturbing to the environment and environments are doing the same impact on us Okay, and the only man aim and uh, man and objective of human is to conserve the plant. We should not be selfish, or we should not do for our own benefit solely. Okay, so that is what we have this so we have learned in these chapters, and let's let us all be the responsible in order to conserve the uh, conserve the plants and animals. Let us all take a measure step as much as possible. Whenever there is a cutting down of tree, whenever deforestation is taking place, then always try to put your hand up to put. If one tree got cut down, then means try always try to put your hand in order to uh, in order to plant two or more two or more trees in your areas okay so day by day we can see a lot of temperatures are rising okay a lot of light uh, environmental uh, climatic climatic change are there okay so a lot of problems are there so we need to conserve and we need to protect our environment from all those uh, those uh, those danger danger uh, those uh, those uh, life in danger problems okay so we have to take uh, different steps okay so i believe that you have understood all the chapters okay go through the chapters and uh and i will be giving the notes in the next we uh, in the next class okay thank you stay safe bye bye